extends keyword on TypeScript can be confusing since it has different meanings depending on what you do. One use case for extends is to actually augment the behavior of functionality of certain interface. For example, the, let's say you want to create an admin user that is kind of very similar to the user. It has a name and email, but also have this roles array. Obviously, this is wrong since roles is not part of the user type. What you can do is, is use the intersection and add the role to that, but also can use the extends keyword to augment the interface behavior by using extends. This is just plain old inheritance. But where the extends keywords really shines and have a different meaning is when it works as constraint. Let's imagine you are writing a function in it as object keys that accept generic named obj and use that generic to type the argument. You can see here that you have an error because object is actually whatever. It can be anything. But you know that you need this obj generic to be of certain type. Here is where you can use extends as a constraint. So here you can read that objects is of r, where r is a record of strings but also you can use it for conditional types. Extends will work as a way to match that certain type, in this case, obj is or not part of the type and that is used at the right side, in this case, staff user. If object extends staff user or if object is staff user, it will return true. Or if, for example, using type of admin user here, admin user is of a staff user, so the extends actually is true again. But if you pass any other value, it will be evaluated as false. 